My name is Yoshiko Fukuda. I'm from Toyama Chemical Company in Japan. So thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to present our study in this meeting. <coughs> uh, what I'm talking about today is a brief summary of our novel antifungal agent T2307. T2307 has a unique structure. It belongs to this amygdine derivatives. It has a novel mechanism of action targeting fungal mitochondria. And it showed broad and potent in vitro and in vivo antifungal activity against candida species <coughs> and cryptococcus species and aspergilla species, including <coughs> other drug resistant strains. I have divided my presentation into four parts. First, I would like to introduce in vitro and in vivo antifungal activity of T2307. Second, I will move on to mechanism of action. And then I will present current clinical status very briefly and summarize my presentation. First of all, I would like to introduce in vitro and in vivo antifungal activity. Uh, this slide shows the in vitro antifungal spectrum against major pathogenic yeast and fungi. T2307 showed broad and potent antifungal activity against candida species, cryptococcus neoformans, and aspergilla species. In particular, candida species and cryptococcus neoformans, the activity is very good, uh, very great. Uh, next, this slide shows the antifungal activity against azole-resistant candida albicans. As you can see, T2307 showed potent antifungal activity against azole-resistant candida albicans. And its MIC ranged 0.005 to 0.01 micron per ml. Azole-resistant candida albicans showed no cross-resistance to T2307. This data is uh, antifungal activity against candida species, including caspofungin resistant strains. This data is a part of results generated under the NIH, NIAID preclinical service program. T2307 showed potent antifungal activity against candida species including caspofungi intermediate and caspofungi resistant strains, very good potent activity. Uh, next, we have evaluated in vivo antifungal activity in murine systemic infection models caused by candida albicans and other candida species, cryptococcus neoformans, aspergillus fumigatus. For candida albicans, Aspergillus fumigatus, and the Cryptococcus neoformans, the therapeutic efficacy was evaluated by effective dose, 50% effective dose. And other species, therapeutic efficacy was evaluated minimum effective dose to reduce the viable cell count in kidney on day eight post infection, significantly compared to control. As shown in this figure, ED50s <coughs> and minimum effective dose against candida albicans and cryptococcus neoformans and azole-resistant candida species, <coughs> T2307 showed ED50s and uh, minimum effective dose were lower than any of the other agents. This data is uh, in vivo antifungal anti activity 
in the invasive candidiasis caused by caspopangin-resistant candida albicans. <coughs> this data is also a result generated under the NIH, NIAID preclinical service program. As shown in this figure, T2307 significantly reduced fungal burden in kidney on day eight post-infection. In addition, T2307 significantly improved survival, survival compared to control and caspofungin treatment. We have evaluated the therapeutic efficacy in pulmonary infection models caused by Cryptococcus neoformans. In comparison with uh, fluconazole and hotelicin B, each agent was administered once a day for seven days from day seven post infection. This figure shows the uh, survival rate, survival curves until day 56 post infection. As you can see, most of control mice were died by day 20 post infection. At one milligram per, at one milligram per kilo and higher, T2307 showed prolonged the survival rate and survival, uh, survival, prolonged the survival rate, uh, survival time and survival rate. Sorry. This data is uh, therapeutic efficacy in the Cryptococcus gatti pulmonary infection model. In this model, uh, each agent was administered once a day for seven days from <coughs> day 14 post-infection. Therapeutic efficacy was evaluated fungal burden in lung and brain. T2307 showed significantly reduced fungal count in lung and brain, even in the advanced infection models. Next, I'm going to talk about mechanism of action. As the first step to discover modes of action of T2307, we investigate previous reports about modes of action of other allyl amygdala derivatives. It was reported that pentamidine is an uncoupler of oxidative phosphorylation in that liver mitochondria. DB75 disrupts mitochondrial function in Saccharomyces cerevisiae. From this information, we speculated that the target, the major mode of action of T2307 would be the disruption of fungal mitochondria function. So we investigate the effect of T2307 on mitochondrial function in live yeast cell. Mitochondrial marker, mitotracker, is a fluorescent, fluor, fluorescent, fluorescent dye that stains mitochondria in live cells and its concentration depends on membrane potential. Cells in control group uh, were stained <coughs> intensely by MTR. That means active mitochondrial function. On the other hand, cells treated, treated with uh, T2307 showed less intense staining, similarly to CCCP. CCCP is known to disrupt mitochondrial function and used as positive control. In addition, 
2007 showed reduced uh, uh, intense staining in those dependent manner. <coughs> These results suggest that T2307 disrupts mitochondrial function in viable yeast cells. We have determined the, determined the inhibitory activity of T2307 on mitochondrial membrane potential in candida albicans. Inhibitory concentration of T2307 is similar to pentamidine. But T2307 has 500 times lower MIC against candida albicans. So it is difficult to explain its strong antifungal activity only by inhibitory activity on fungal mitochondria. <coughs> so we speculated there might be another mechanism <coughs> of action and uptake and uh, accumulation of T2307 into fungal cells might contribute to its antifungal activity. <coughs> In the uptake study into rat hepatocytes and uh, candida albicans, candida albicans accumulate T2307 130 times than rat hepatocytes. So T2307 is selectively imported and concentrated into candida albicans cell. The uptake of T2307 was affected by temperature and uptake of T2307 reduced by the inhibitor or an uncoupler of fungal of mitochondrial function. From these results, T2307 is imported into candida albicans cell active transport system. In African trypanosoma, the uptake of pentamidine and DB75 appears to involve the P2 nucleoside transporter. In addition, in Duchemania species, pentamidine is an inhibitor of polyamine transport. From this information, we speculated that T2007 is also into Canta albicans via polyamine or nucleoside transporter. In order to determine a transporter related to uptake of T2307, we evaluated effect of polyamine and nucleoside. T2307 T2307 uptake was reduced <coughs> by spamming, spamming and spamming in those dependent manner, but not affected by nucleosides. So T2307 is, uh, T2307 is imported into candida albicans cell by polyamine transporter. The series of experiments supported that T2307 is imported and accumulated to, into fungal cells by active transportation and inhibits mitochondrial function. Both the, acti both the active transportation and the inhibition of mitochondrial function are highly selective between candida albicans and mammalian cells. Uptake, to, uptake of T2007 was 130 times higher in candida albicans than rat hepatocytes. And 
inhibition of mitochondrial membrane potential was more than 10,000 times stronger against mitochondria isolated from candida pecans uh, that rat hepatocytes. So as you know, only four classes of antifungal agent are available in the current, state, current market. T2307 is selectively transported in, into candida albicans from polyamine transporter. And it selectively disrupts the function of fungal mitochondria. This novel mechanism of, this novel mechanism of action targeting fungal mitochondria leads to broad antifungal spectrum of T2307 against major pathogenic fungi, including other drug-resistant strains. Uh, before cl closing my presentation, I would just like to show you the current clinical status. Three phase one studies have been completed in the United States, and safety and tolerability of T2307 were demonstrated. We are currently preparing for phase two POC study. <coughs> and finally, let me summarize my presentation. T2307 showed a broad and potent antifungal activity against major pathogenic fungi, including azole and echine candine resistant candida species. T2307 has a novel mechanism of action targeting fungal mitochondria. It shows high target selectivity between fungal cell and mammalian cell. So T2307 can be a new treatment option for life-threatening deep mycosis. Thank you very much for kind attention.